All right, in this video I'm going over the comprehension questions for how Tia Lola came to stay. Number one, what does Tia Lola know about Colonel Charbos that leads her to believe that he will not evict Miguel's family? Make inferences to help you answer the question. So we already kind of talked about this on the graphic organizer where we made inferences. Uh, Tia Lola knows that the Colonel um, played baseball when he was a young man. So she knows that he really enjoys baseball, likes baseball. Um, it's close to his heart. So she thinks that if she names the team after him and makes their uniforms the same color as she painted the house, maybe she won't, um, or he won't evict them and let them keep the color of their house the same as the color of the uniforms. Okay, number two, Miguel sometimes feels brief embarrassment about the things Tia Lola says and does. Why, however, do you think Miguel so quickly realizes that Tia Lola has good solutions for problems? Explain. Um, Miguel is embarrassed because Tia Lola is different. She, nobody else in the, in the community paints their house a loud purple color like she does and so he, he kind of feels embarrassed because she's different. <clears throat> um, however, he knows that Tia Lola looks for the best in people and is able to understand their point of view and that's how she's able to come up with good solutions for the problem, particularly in this situation. She knew that the Colonel really liked baseball and so she knew how to um, you know, kind of manipulate that situation to make him allow them to stay because she made the uniforms the same color that she wanted to paint the house and then named the team after uh, the colonel. And she knew that he really liked baseball and so it ended up working. He decided, okay, uh, I'll let you guys keep the house purple. Okay, number three, Tia Lola is extremely helpful to Miguel and his family. Do you have a friend or relative who is helpful to you or your family? Compare that person with Tia Lola. Use examples from the text to support your answer. So, um, you know, you guys all know Mr. Dan is my dad and he comes in and helps uh, every day in the classroom. So that is somebody who, like Tia Lola, is very helpful. Is always there for you, uh, will do anything that they can to help you. Um, Tia Lola also is willing to help or do anything. She helps organize the baseball team. She helps get the jerseys for the students or for the players, excuse me. Um, so she does a lot to help uh, their family as well, just like Mr. Dan does a lot to help me in my class. So you need to think of yourself. Is there a friend or relative who is very helpful to you? And then how is that similar to the way Tia Lola is? And, you know, I guess I could say Mr. Dan also can, you know, he's very helpful, but he can be embarrassing too at times, just like Tia Lola. Okay, number four. Tia Lola used baseball to bring people together. How do you think sports can help bring a community together? And I, I gave this uh, clue here. Think back to McFarland, USA. Um, so we saw that, you know, everybody from the community came out to watch these baseball games and support them. And just like in McFarland, USA, you saw people who um, normally probably wouldn't be interacting all of a sudden becoming friends because they have this commonality, this thing they have in common, that they all want the McFarland um, cross country team to do well. So you can say, you know, uh, baseball and sports can bring people together because it gives them a common purpose or a common um, thing that they enjoy. Okay. Number five, reread and Ant's Baseball Dreams on page 460 and 461, or you can re-listen to it. How is the author's great Aunt Helen like Tia, Tia Lola? If Tia Lola were to be offered a baseball tryout, do you think she would react the same way Helen did? Why or why not? So you're, want, you're going to need to go back and find out how Helen, the great Aunt Helen, who uh, tried out for that baseball team, 
Remember, she was offered to uh, go to Chicago for another tryout, but she ended up not going because she was worried about um, going to Chicago by herself because back then, young women, uh, it was looked or frowned upon if a young woman was traveling alone such a far distance. Um, and then compare that to uh, Tia Lola and how she is. And then what do you think? Would Tia Lo if Tia Lola had been offered that baseball tryout in Chicago, do you think she would have not gone or do you think she would have gone? And then why do you think she would have gone or would not have gone? Okay, use examples from the text to help support you. So you can say, I think she would have gone because Tia Lola, in the story, she does what what she puts her mind to. She always does it whether somebody tells her not to or, or not. Or you may say, I don't think Tia Lola would go because in the story it says blank, which shows me that she probably wouldn't have gone to Chicago. So again, it's your opinion, but you need to support it with details from the text. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.